All right, we got a good question here from Janet. And I starred this one because I really like it. And Janet asked, she said, for people who are currently, um, where are there? so many questions here, are currently living in a moldy home and do not yet have the financial ability to move or remediate, I understand it's best that they don't detox, begin detox until they're out of the moldy environment. Is that correct? No, Janet, that is not correct, okay? Um, while you're in your home, deal with what you can in your home, okay? You got some HEPA filters or all the way up to a high-tech unit. You seal off areas that can be sealed off if it's in specific areas. Um, you have your atomizing diffuser or just putting essential oils out. You're keeping the humidity, at, humidity down. You're doing everything you can for your house. But for the body, you do start to detox. And detox isn't just about um, grabbing a binder, okay? The most important part of detox is prepping the drainage pathways, okay? You need to be able to sweat. You need to be able to poop, okay? Your liver needs to be able to function well. Your bile needs to be flowing. Your kidneys need supported. So many of these mycotoxins are aggressive and harmful to the liver and to the kidney, and we know it is to the digestive tract, okay? It can literally stop you from pooping, which is a massive problem. So when you're in mold and you can't get out, you're not going to jump on, you know, three tablespoons of charcoal a day. No, that would definitely cause a problem. But you're going to start supporting all your eliminative organs. And, and if you're sensitive, you can start with um, uh, homeopathics. Like I have the Des Bio Comprehensive Detox Kit here. Okay, it's called Comprehensive Detox, but what does it do? It supports drainage pathways. It's supporting around the brain, the spine, the extracellular matrix, and then the kidneys the liver, and the lymphatic system, okay? That's not bind, 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 but it's called the comprehensive detox kit. You see where I'm getting at here? In order for the body to get rid of what it doesn't want or need or that's doing it harm, it has to have a clear path out, okay? So that's why we need to make sure you're pooping every day a couple times. That's why we support the kidneys. That's why we support the liver. That's why we increase bioflow. Your toxins get moved to the liver, which puts them in bioflow. The bile goes to the small intestine to be excreted. But when you're not pooping it out often enough, it's getting reabsorbed through that intestinal wall. So you, I know I sound like a broken record, but it's all about drainage pathways. Make sure you're pooping. Make sure you're supporting all these eliminative organs, okay? And once you've done that and you're not severely reactive, then you add in like sludge um, binder, which is a humic and full can go systemic. Once you can tolerate that well and fine, then we can add in some of the nice um, uh, other complex binders like GI Detox uh, or Quicksilver has their, what's it called, Ultra Binder, things that you take too, which bind in the gut really well and bind bile to get the toxins that are in that out. Okay, so I hope that helps, Janet. You absolutely want to be doing something now, protecting your house, building your body up so that you can get this rolling and get back to the uh, health that you deserve. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing.